Hey everybody, this is Ray, and today I wanted to show you some of the basics of iMovie as far as the layout of the program and how some of the more basic functions work and what the buttons are. Now we're going to start off in the lower right hand corner, uh, this rather large window down here with all of the video clips in it. This is all of your raw video that you've brought in either through your camera or through existing movies that were on your hard drive. It's going to lay them out in clips, which is why you see these blank spaces in between. That's where your camera was actually stopped and a new clip was created. Now, over to the left, you're going to see here, this is the event library. And you can see in here, this just has your last imports, if you imported anything from your camera, as well as stuff that's on all of your different hard drives. And what this is going to do is this is going to help you when you import videos and things of that nature. Now just up above this you'll see a big bar that spans across the entire project. And this has got all of your tools that you're going to be needing. All the way to the left here you've got your camera import window. And if you've got a camera hooked up to your computer and you're ready to import stuff that you've shot, this is the button you'll press to bring up that window. And next to that, you're going to see this kind of funky double arrow button. And what that does is that switches the events and properties windows. So for instance, if you would rather have all of your clips in the top and your finished movie in the bottom to uh, have a layout that's similar to more traditional editing programs, you can simply click that. And you'll see it swaps it around for you so that whichever way you prefer it, it's going to be set up that way. Now if you move over towards the middle here, you're going to see another set of buttons. And let's click on a clip here just so we can see the buttons here. And the first button that you're going to encounter is the Add Selected Video to Project. And what that's going to do is simply with the touch of a button, move any clips that are in your bottom window into your top window. So for instance, if I click it now, you'll see it brings that clip up to the top window. Now, next to that, you're going to see some stars. Now, what this does is this rates your selected videos as favorited or uh, unmark the selected video. And what that does is it allows you to pick clips that you like and hide clips that you do not like. And, of course, the X button is to reject a selected piece of video and remove it out of the bin. Now, next to that, you're going to see record a voiceover. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow you, as you can see with the VU meters over here, that's going to allow you to record your voice for your video if you need to have a voiceover along with your images. The next one after that is your Crop, Rotate, and Ken Burns button. And what that's going to do, as you can see up here, is it's going to allow you to crop your video if you wanted to just select a certain area that you wanted to view you can do that or if you want to have the video if you've got a still image and you want to have the still image move in and out that will do that as well and finally you've got your inspector button and as you can see over here what that does is that just gives you information about the clip itself such as the length of the clip uh, any effects that are on it and you can also do stabilization through there. And if you can see that we've got some different buttons, if you hit video, this allows you to change the exposure of the video, uh, as well as change some of the contrasts, as you can see there. And the saturation, if you wanted to get it down to black and white or super saturated video. It also allows you to color balance the white point, And what that's going to do is just change the color values of the image itself based off of what it chooses white to be in the image. Now, all the way over to the right-hand side, you're going to see that you've got a uh, audio skimming on and off, and that's just going to, you can see if we go down here, any audio that's in these, as you skim across it, you can hear. But if you click this button, now it's silent. And that just allows you to work with sound or with sound off, kind of like a mute button. Now over to the right hand side here, you're going to see some familiar icons if you've used some of the other Apple programs. This is going to show your music folder. So any songs that are in your iTunes library or anywhere else will be listed in here so that you can 
put that into your videos. The next one will be the photo button. And this will give you all of your iPhoto information and all of your iPhotos in here that you can use inside your video. The T, think of that for text. What that's going to do is that's going to give you all of your text options for doing titles for your videos or lower thirds, um, credits, as you can see there, you can see them scrolling by. The next one here is your transition buttons. And what this does is this gives you a list of all the different transitions that you have for that you can use on your video. And you can get a little preview of them just by hovering over them. And the final button is your themes button. And what this does is this shows you all the different backgrounds that can be used and themes within your video to just kind of spruce things up and make it interesting. Now, Let's move all the way over to the top window here. And this is your project window. And what this is, is this is the final video as you've brought it into iMovie. And in this case, we're going to hit delete to get rid of that because we don't need it there. Now, if you come down here, let's find another clip. Let's say we like this clip here. If you click and drag that yellow box, you'll see it create, it takes that video there. If you Click on it and drag up. It'll put it into your window here. Now simply by scrolling across your video, you can see us go from one clip to the other. And you'll also notice in this window that there's a little button here in the corner of the clip that you're currently hovering over. And if you click on that, you'll see there's a precision editor, a clip trimmer, clip adjustments, video adjustments, audio adjustments, and cropping and rotation, some of which we've talked about before. So in this case, let's hit the uh, precision editor. And what you'll see here is when we do this, the bottom window changes to the precision editor window now instead of your raw video clips. And as you can see, as you run over this, it just shows you where your videos overlap so that you can do transitions. And it just allows you to do some fine tuning of where you want one clip to end and another one to begin. And once you have that set, simply come over here and hit done, and your video will adjust for that. Now, if you wanted to add a transition to a piece of video, all you need to do is simply come over to the transitions. And let's say we want to do this neat spin in. All you need to do is drag it in between the two clips of video, and you'll see right away the transition is added in there.